stalwart group of these meetings is Laszlo Kovac. From Hungary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in this talk, I'm going to speak about defects induced by rare earth dopants in stoichiometric lithium niobate. And uh, it will be, uh, these defects will be monitored by measuring the hydroxyl absorption in the crystal. There is a, the hydroxyl ions are always present in lithium niobate as a dopant when the crystal is grown in air atmosphere. Um, first, uh, I will compare um, stoichiometric and congruent lithium niobate. <laughs> Then I will say some words about rare earth ions in general in uh, lithium niobate. And then uh, some um, earlier results on the hydroxyl ions in, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, hydroxyl ions in, uh, in other uh, dope, uh, in uh, stoichiometric crystals uh, doped with uh, uh, other dopants like um, optical damage resistant dopants, uh, magnesium, zinc, uh, uh, Hafnium, uh, and so on. Then I, I uh, present uh, our uh, results, uh, recent results on rare earth doped stoichiometric lithium niobate, and finally is the conclusion. So first I show you the uh, phase diagram of the material. Um, the lithium niobate melts uh, congruently, and it can be grown by the Chokrowski method, uh, but when the uh, uh, congruent crystal is grown, and uh, the lithium niobium ratio in the crystal is uh, only uh, 0.94, which means that we have excess niobium in the crystal. This excess niobium is on uh, lithium side, uh, charge compensated by lithium vacancies. On the contrary, uh, the stoichiometric crystals, at least in our laboratories, um, are grown by the high temperature top seeded solution growth method from a solution, we use a potassium oxide flux. Potassium uh, doesn't enter lithium niobate. And, uh, and finally, uh, the lithium niobium ratio in the crystal is uh, equal to one or nearly one. So we have no more uh, excess niobium uh, in the crystal and we have no anticyte niobium in the stoichiometric crystal. So there are... Uh, 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 the properties of lithium niobate are different in congruent and stoichiometric crystal. At least there are many properties which are different. Um, for example, the ultraviolet absorption edge or the photoreflective properties and so on. Here I focus only on the, on the OH absorption band. So in congruent crystal, um, we have a very broad absorption band related to um, OH in different surroundings. So, uh, we have many uh, defects around uh, the OH, uh, lithium vacancies, anti-site niobium, so that is the reason why we have uh, an overlap of different uh, band components here in the congruent crystal. On the contrary, in the stoichiometric crystal, we have a very uh, a nice sharp uh, line uh, related uh, to OH, uh, which means that we have only one site for the OH. Uh, and this uh, band is around uh, 3466 reciprocal centimeter. Well, um, concerning the rare earth uh, ions, they are very important in lithium niobate also because they are uh, uh, laser active uh, uh, dopants and the uh, uh, lasers um, operating in lithium niobate uh, with uh, neodymium. Uh, uh, erbium and with, uh, practically with all the uh, rare earth dopants, iterbium, for example. And um, they are also important in um, quantum memories experiment, as it was shown on Monday uh, by the invited uh, lecture of Charles Steele, that uh, spectral hole burning experiments were performed on uh, uh, praseodymium, erbium, iterbium, tullium doped uh, lithium niobate crystal. Uh, here I, I compare again the uh, properties of these absorption lines uh, of, of iterbium in uh, congruent and stoichiometric crystal. And again, we see that in the stoichiometric crystal, the, 
the absorption bands related to these electronic transitions are much sharper. And the same for uh, erbium. Uh, we have um, the crystal field components, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and in addition, we have additional splitting, uh, uh, which are related to the so-called site selectivity. So we have uh, uh, different surroundings around the uh, uh, erbium ions, and that's the reason why we, we see uh, additional lines. This was uh, uh, studied a um, long time ago by uh, uh, Volkmar Dirov and others. Um, so, um, it's important to know uh, where are the uh, uh, rarer ions in the crystal, which lattice site is occupied by the rarer ions. Uh, uh, there are many methods, experimental methods, where um, uh, this problem was uh, studied. For example, rarer backscattering, uh, Rutherford backscattering, uh, ion beam channeling techniques, extend, extended X ray fine structure. Uh, um, measurements, optical absorption, luminescence spectroscopy, electron magnetic resonance uh, spectroscopy. And uh, the conclusion is uh, usually that the rarer ions occupy lithium sites in the crystal, uh, but uh, shifted from the regular lithium position along the uh, ferroelectric C axis. And uh, there are at least uh, six different sites, which means that uh, it's, it's also lithium site, but it, uh, it is uh, surrounded by the uh, um, different uh, um, uh, defects, lithium vacancies, uh, uh, anti-site niobiums, and so on. Uh, and it is also concluded that um, the rarers may form uh, clusters uh, when, they, uh, when the crystal is doped with high concentration of rarer ions. And uh, yeah, it's also possible that uh, the rarers may occupy uh, um, niobium sites in the crystal, uh, especially when uh, co-doped with magnesium. So, uh, what we would like to know is uh, whether in our crystal, uh, where the, uh, in our stoichiometric rarer's doped crystal, where uh, the rarer's ions uh, uh, are sitting. So, uh, as I said, we, I, we monitored our uh, crystals by uh, infrared absorption spectroscopy, measuring the uh, vibration, stretching vibration of the hydroxyl ion. The hydroxyl is a uh, diatomic molecule. The proton is uh, connected to the uh, regular oxygen. So in, uh, um, divalent, uh, in the case of divalent impurities like zinc and magnesium, uh, <coughs> we have uh, above a uh, uh, critical threshold concentration, we have a, a new uh, OH absorption band, which is different from the uh, pure crystal, which is different from the OH band in the pure crystal. Uh, in the trivalent, uh, in the case of trivalent dopants, this band is shifted. And in the case of uh, tetravalent dopants, it is shifted again. And if we plot uh, the vibration of frequencies as a function of the valence state of the dopant ions, we see a nearly linear uh, dependence. Yeah. Uh, by measuring the, the OH absorption as a function of the light polarization, uh, we can uh, see that uh, um, the OH bond is um, nearly perpendicular to the ferroelectric C axis, uh, but um, not completely. So there is a, a, an angle between the OH dipole and the oxygen plane perpendicular to the ferroelectric axis, and this, uh, this angle is uh, relatively small, but um, this angle also depends on the, on the valence state of the <coughs> dopant. So uh, from these results, uh, uh, we uh, made a, a model. Um, so the new OH band is present if, uh, if the concentration of the dopant is above the threshold. The OH is, uh, is close to this, uh, this uh, dopant. And above the threshold, uh, um, the dopant uh, occupies niobium site. And in this case, uh, 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 it forms a complex uh, with OH uh, where um, the OH is close to a lithium vacancy, 
the impurity is occupied by the niobium, um, so, uh, is occupied, uh, the, uh, sorry, the, the dopant um, occupies niobium site and, uh, and the direction uh, of the, of the uh, OH bond is, uh, is, well, is not completely perpendicular to the C axis. So, uh, if this model is valid uh, for uh, uh, trivalent dopants like indium and scandium, so it should also work uh, uh, for rarer ions, for uh, trivalent rarer ions. So we grew uh, uh, several stoichiometric crystals doped with, oh, sorry, doped with uh, uh, neodymium, erbium, and ytterbium. These are uh, uh, good dopants also for um, uh, uh, spectral hole burning experiments. So the quality of the crystal uh, so we were uh, not uh, perfect, uh, but uh, uh, as especially when we, uh, the dopant concentration was high, but we could prepare uh, uh, samples for optical measurements. And um, I show you in detail the erbium doped uh, crystals at low oh, sorry. At low concentrations, uh, uh, the, the abs OH absorption band uh, is the same as in the pure crystal. Um, uh, we can see some uh, satellites uh, here, uh, which corresponds, uh, uh, we, uh, which is uh, characteristic for the nearly stoichiometric crystal. In, in a Perfect crystal, we, we see only this line, but when the crystal is not perfectly stoichiometric, we see also these additional lines here at there about 3, 4, 80. But in the <coughs> crystals with higher concentration of erbium, above uh, 0.5 mole percent, we see one additional line uh, here, which were not present in the pure uh, crystals. And, uh, the same for uh, uh, ytterbium and uh, neodymium doped crystal above this uh, threshold concentration, we can see a new absorption band uh, around uh, a little bit higher frequencies. If we plot uh, the vibration of frequencies as a function of the ionic radius of these uh, rarers, we see that uh, the larger the ionic radius of the rarers, the higher the OH stretching frequency. This is what we uh, expect uh, from this uh, uh, simple uh, 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 sorry. Um, so when the, the ionic radius is larger, then the longer the oxygen-oxygen distance is, and the stronger the OH bond, and then the, the frequency of the OH stretching is higher. We also measure the polarization dependence um, uh, for the neodymium doped crystal, and we uh, obtained again a, a, a small deviation from the oxygen plane uh, perpendicular to the ferroelectric axis, and this deviation was about uh, uh, seven, eight uh, degrees. And um, when we plot uh, our results together with the uh, uh, optical damage resistant dopants, uh, we see that uh, uh, both the vibration of frequency uh, for the uh, OH in the rarest doped crystals and the angle uh, uh, of the uh, OH bond uh, uh, fits uh, to our uh, previous model. So <coughs> we assume that uh, that the rarer ions uh, also occupy a uh, 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 niobium site uh, in the crystal. So the conclusion, the summary of our work is that the uh, infrared absorption spectra of OH stretching vibration have been investigated in stoichiometric lithium niobate doped with uh, erbium, neodymium, and ytterbium ions. With increasing rarer uh, concentration, new OH absorption bands appeared due to the presence of uh, uh, complex uh, defects in the crystals. 
the OH vibration of frequency and bond direction in the complexes are similar to those uh, in the optical damage resistant ion doped uh, uh, stoichiometric lithium niobate, indicating that also part of the rare earth ions occupy niobium site. And it has been uh, reaffirmed that uh, OH ions are excellent probes of the defect structure in lithium niobate crystal. Thank you for your attention. Any questions? Uh, I have a question. Could you describe more exactly how is the structure, how is bound the OH to the impurity? What's happening with the hydrogen? What's happening with? With the hydrogen. So you, uh, oxygen is related to the rare earth ions. And what is happening with the hydrogen from the OH group? Well, uh, the if you rare earth see. ions is, uh, is on the niobium site yes. here uh, in the oxygen. This is an oxygen octahedron. This is another oxygen octahedron which is uh, usually empty. This is an, uh, an oxygen octahedron uh, which is usually occupied by lithium vacancy. In our case, uh, sorry, we have by lithium. Uh, in our case, uh, there is a lithium vacancy here and, uh, and uh, the Hydrogen is bonded to one of the oxygen in, in this plane. And this is the, the, OH, uh, the OH bond. So the, com or the complex uh, is this one. I see. Where we have the, the rare earth ions and the, uh, an OH in the vicinity of the rare earth ions. Thank you. Thank you. One very quick last question. Uh, since since you um, uh, seem to uh, see that um, the rare earth ions are now also on the opium site there, do you see any evidence uh, in the optical spectra when you go uh, above that critical uh, value of uh, concentration of the rare earth so that you s see it in, in the absorption no, that, or emission? No, that we, uh, we have not measured that. Okay, thank you, Laszlo.